Today I'd like to talk a little bit about a very useful tool in NX that allows us to create these ball corners very quickly or tertiary surfaces very quickly, very easily, extremely cleanly. Now typically when we're making uh, our blends we want to create each individual surface. Uh, I know there are some great tools out there that allow you to put blends in across a great many patches and if you're uh, doing that let's say from a couple of primaries to a secondary like this that's acceptable um, and a lot of times what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to create a individual ball corner to control these uh, corners a little bit cleaner than just letting a blend automatically wrap around and create those corners for us so here you'll notice that I have two equally sized blends and one larger blend coming into this corner. So the tool I'm going to use is what's called Styled Corner. Now, watch, watching carefully, reading the prompts, looking at these icons, you can see the order that it's asking to be picked in. So it's asking for these input blends and it automatically goes to the next selection so you don't have to click the middle mouse button or come up here and pick anything. Next selection and then the last blend. Once we select the last blend it's going to ask us for our base face. The base face is going to be in this case here. This is where the transition from the two smaller blends is going to sit. Uh, you can pick this as a base face and hope that something good comes in in this area but this is typically the base face where the two smaller of the blends are coming together to create a nice uh, corner as it wraps around. Now as we look we can see here I have uh, flows of G3 going all the way across. I can turn on apply to all and if I want to I can just go to G2, G1 and even just simply positional give us a hard corner in there but for the sake of this lecture we're going to go out to G2 and leave it there so that means at all four of these positions here 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 and here it is G2 if you're doing an outside corner on a uh, exterior surface then chances are you're going to go to G3 interior is G2 and in some cases G1 is just perfectly acceptable here you will also notice that I have these start locations and what this is for, as you can see, maybe I want the flow of the blend to change a little bit. The default is going to be a normal, sort of as a regular standard blend would do it, a normal projection of this point down to this edge, normal projection down to this point. But depending on your surfaces and depending on how you want those surfaces to flow, you may need to adjust these start and end locations as far as where these reside. You can also grab this arrow here and make the modification there as well. You may need to tighten this up. You may need to bring this in and, and uh, basically slam it or drive it into the corner because of whatever styling requirement the uh, designer has for you. So this tool in one big very handy tool gives you an incredible amount of capability. Historically what you had to do was create a curve here, create this curve, curve and curve and then you'd have to put in a through curve mesh or uh, some sort of a studio surface to get the shape in here um, driving through those curves but now we have it all in one tool and because we have it all in this one tool you can see here I have some very very powerful controls as far as what I can and cannot do with this blend. Now as I scroll through this and go, come down to the bottom you'll notice that I have it set to no trim and again in a historical precedence typically you slab everything out and then come back in a secondary mode and trim everything or do split surfaces to get uh, the final surfaces. Um, the reason behind that is once you split a surface using like this trim method you may for some reason need the overbuilt surface and if you have the overbuilt surface before you do the split you can always go back to that overbuilt surface. Um, you can always go back to this uh, before the blend corner as well but uh, once again 
uh, you may be consuming something that you're going to be using later on. So uh, just just be cautious. I'm, I'm going old school on it and I prefer to do all the trims later on in certain instances and in certain instances I'll let it automatically do the trims for me depending on how well developed the surfaces are. That's uh, uh, methodologies that we can talk about in a later video. So this styled corner very very useful tool very powerful here you can see uh, additional uh, types of uh, trim curve control tangent continuous line uh, projection this is just how these lines come across and flow down um, I could do isoparametric as well so you have several options uh, typically, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the tangent continuous in this case. This allows this to come off tangent to this edge and straight down and around. So you have several options. You have a great amount of control. It's almost as if you're creating each of these entities independently outside of this actual tool, which you normally would. But here, it gives you a, a great amount of capability to do the modifications on all these. Now, um, there's a couple of other changes that uh, they may add in the future and um, you know there's this uh, interior curve for the shape control we have ISO U, ISO V, ISO U and V again to control how this is flowing across from surface to surface so there are some shape controls there um, you also have depth and skew, so if you want to change the depth and skew of this, you have the ability to come in here and modify the depth and skew of this shape as well. You have the tangent magnitudes, where you can control each end individually. and template bridge curve. I don't have a template bridge curve. I don't have a curve to sort of match that shape to. But if I did, I could select that curve and it would match that shape. Uh, maybe you have a template curve as far as how you want these corners to transition, but I don't have one, so I won't do that. Select your OK, and there is your corner. Great tool, highly recommended.